Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, Pedro Avila. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. All right, ready to go here. Standing in is the power-hitting second baseman, Mookie Betts. And the pitch. Ground ball left side. Kim jump throw. And Betts is set down. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good eye right there. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Got him. And a couple of quick outs. And here is J.D. Martinez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The wind and the pitch. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. And ball another two. ball. Two balls, one strike. And JD gets a piece now, two and two. The wind of the pitch. 3 2 now. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Max Muncy stands in now and watches strike one. Big time power. Martinez off of first with two away. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. And he deals. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. No swing. He held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. Will Smith in the on deck circle. And the righty deals. Got it by him for the K. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Yeah. 
Welcome back. And towing the slab, Lance Lynn. Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. The pitch. Xander Bogarts leading things off and takes a strike. And the 0 1. 0 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Rojas with the throw to first. Bogarts retired. Ha Sung Kim will hit next. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers well, enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And it is two and one. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Pitch misses there. Three and two down. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Juan Soto. Swinging a foul straight back. And a pitch. That one missed. And a good eye there. And it's even up. drive caught nothing you can do about those as a hitter even though you know that they still drive you absolutely crazy now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. he's a guy Chris whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see definitely one of the best arms of the sport First offering misses the mark. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Peralta settles underneath it, puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Padres leave one. We played an inning. No score. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. On one. Strike two.
That one just misses. It's a good take. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. An absolutely majestic shot. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it, and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's Jason Hayward. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The wide to kick the pitch. Now wanted a one. Left-hand hitter waits. Gonna count one and two. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters gotta look down in the zone. Looking for the K. Here's Kike Hernandez. There's the strike. Righty delivers. That one inside, and it's a ball and a strike. Eric Summers Gill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's gonna argue at all. That misses, and it's two and two. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. David Peralta, the next to hit, takes ball one. That hey. one's in there, and that is strike one. I got a ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Yep, that ball went out. Next one is off the play, and it's two and two. And he grounds one to the right side. He'll do it himself, and that will end the inning. So the Dodgers strike first on the solo jack. It's now one nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Petco Park, bottom half of inning number two, and here's the veteran outfielder, Jerkson Profar. Right-hander back to work. There's a strike. Yeah. 
That misses. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. Ground ball up the middle. Rojas. And a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Ball one low. Count one and oh. Curveball drops in there. And a 1 1. Ball, that's inside. Swing and a pop up. And that is that. Padres down in order. They're down 1 0. here in San Diego new inning getting started here's the veteran shortstop Miguel Rojas Avila back to work missing inside and that is ball one and there's a ball if you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Gathers and throws. One up, one down. Up next to the top. The second baseman. Mookie. Yeah. So the batting order turns over. Here's Mookie now. Grounded out his first time up. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Ball, and the first right. pitch misses for ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Late on that fastball. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. Betts into second. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. One out, runner at second. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Went down on strikes his first time through. That's a, That's a little bit low. One to know to Freddie Freeman. That's hard hit on the line. And Freeman is retired. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. And Martinez. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And 
And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Field two. A little bit low. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. One left for LA, but they still lead it 1 0. Set for the bottom of the third, here's the rookie third baseman, Eggy Rosario. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And that one is inside ball one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Bounced up the middle. Oh, great stop. Over to first. Nicely done for the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving okay. stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. And here's the rookie catcher, Brett Sullivan. And he pumps in a strike. The old one. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Now the second baseman. So the lineup flips over. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Grounded out to short in his first trip. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And that's outside. Looking to get the tying run on base. There's the strike. The other way. That ends the frame. Nothing doing there for the Friars, and it remains 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Max Muncy. The third baseman, Max Muncy. The pitch. They say it went. You know, these Dodgers do the great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. The 0 2. Right side. Bogarts. Gathers and throws to first. One up, one down. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Hard hit to third. Over to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. The right fielder, Jason Hayward. And up next for Los Angeles, Jason Hayward. First pitch just misses. Just 
just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Fouls one off, two and two. Here comes a pitch. Foul off the plate, they'll do it again. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Dodgers down in order. But they lead it 1-0. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. And the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. And no one can get there. It falls in. Around second now. Going for three. And a great start to the inning. A leadoff triple puts the tying run at third. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. And now it's Juan Soto. He's over one. Ball one, no strikes. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The tying run is 90 feet away. That one back up the middle and it gets through. In to score is the runner from third. It's 1-1. One -one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet knowing that you can come through with a good swing and there he doesn't try to do too much substitution being made at first entering is the pinch runner Jose Azokar and the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. first pitch doesn't find the zone Azokar on at first. Nobody out. That one fouled off. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Next pitch is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. The next offering misses. Ball three. Jerks and Profar. On deck for the Padres. Tatis waits. And there's ball four. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. Steel, steel, Here's steel. the pitch. Both runners on the move. And it's fouled away. First and second here, no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Next okay. offering is down low. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Now here is Garrett Cooper. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First pitch, not close. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Check swing, appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. Next offering is downstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. On the ground, could be two. Tags the runner. And that's two. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. All even now at 1-1. One -one. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the DH, Enrique Hernandez. The pitch. There's the strike. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. This to third. And that's just foul. Next pitch is downstairs. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. David Peralta at the plate. Grounded out his first time. And takes low for ball one. One down, base is empty. Ball two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Pitch is in there, and it's 2-1. and one. Yeah, that's a little bit high. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Righty to the plate. And that's ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. On to pinch run for the Dodgers. James Outman. Miguel Rojas at the plate. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit. Step off. Chip. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a ball popped up. Now the throw to first on the run. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. Substitution now at first base. Pinch running here. Chris Taylor. Here's Mookie to hit. One for two.
That pitch in for a strike. Going to one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Outman over at second. Taylor over at first. So going away. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Josh Hader getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Number 40, a right-hander, loosening up as well. The 1-1. One -one. And that's downstairs and outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The count two and one. Found back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. A sacrifice. Swings and misses, struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Man, it's so tough to let a slow curveball like that one just travel all the way into the contact zone. You see it out of the hand, and you're telling yourself, off speed, stay back. But you just get too excited. You think you're going to hammer it, and you still end up way out in front. And now it's going to be Freddie Freeman. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one pulled foul. First and second, two down. Next offering is down low. And that's ripped for a base hit. Around third. Here's the throw. Tag safe. It's 2-1. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. First and second, two outs. Here's J.D. Martinez. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. First offering misses the mark. Ripped on a line to center. Puts the squeeze on it, and that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Now into the game, James Outman. He'll be out in left field. Also into the ball game, Chris Taylor. He's in at shortstop. Stepping in for San Diego, Trent Grisham. First time up was a pop out. And a pitch. This to center field. And it drops in. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach. Didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Next to hit, Eggy Rosario. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Fouled off, he was late. If you're a base runner, you gotta stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. That hits the dirt, and a count two and one.
the pitch. Line drive, that's a base hit. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Grisham headed for the plate. Oh, he throws it away. He scores all the way from first. A terrible job getting it back to the infield, and it cost them a run. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Brett Sullivan, the next up for the Padres. And first offering is fouled off. This one lifted in the air, left field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. The bat, number two, second baseman, Xander Bogart. So the San Diego batting order turns over. And here comes Xander Bogarts. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. Swings through that. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off speed pitch. Next offering is downstairs. that one down the line and it goes just foul man it's second and a foul ball he stays alive two two now in the air of the infield Muncy should have this one Makes the catch. Two down. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Kim up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Swing and he breaks his bat. And it's just foul. That was close. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Rich Hill. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing... In there, he's safe.
kicks and fires. Swings through that one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Ball to strike. The pitch. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And the one-two misses to even the count. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. The batter now will be Will Smith. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. pitch in the air out towards right center Tatis drifts towards it makes the grab runner tagging from third throw is offline and he scores 3-2 they take the lead sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things keep it simple runner third less than two outs put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly Hayward in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Two outs. And now it's Off even up. Looking, that's a strikeout. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Hard of the order, three, four, five coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Padres two. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Frederick Bauer. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. And now the DH, Jose Azokar, came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. And here it comes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Next offering is in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Robert Suarez, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Martinez getting loose as well. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. Swing and a ball popped up. Knocks it down. Protecting with strikes on him. And putting the ball in play speaks to cutting down the strikeouts, shortening up with two strikes. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Check swing. He went. It's 0-1. Ball one. Ball one 
Kim, the runner at third. Azokar at first with no outs. Misses outside. Two balls and a strike. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Now batting jerks in pro far. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. That's the third. Diving! And he can't make the play. The tag run is in to score from third. It's 3 3. Not in time. He's safe. Now that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now with the winning run at third, they're looking for a ball to the outfield, but that inning-ending double play is in order. And now Garrett Cooper. That one's in there on one. And that's in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two on, one out. Off the mark there. And yeah, the count, one and two. 0-2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. Good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. And he deals. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And the righty deals. What a stop. The throw over to Taylor. Across is the winning run, and the Padres walk it off and win it 4-3. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. These guys are celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.